All right, welcome to the Ravid Show. I'm here at the IBM booth with one and only Marcela. Marcela, welcome to the Ravid Show. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure being here with you today. Uh, I'm excited uh, to chat with you to, today about various things, data, AI. I know you've done a roundtable uh, just yesterday. Uh, I'm wanting to learn a little about that, but just for our audience, would you like to quickly introduce yourself, tell us more about what you do at IBM? Okay, so I'm Marcela Vairo. I'm the VP of Sales for Data and AI for the Americas team. Nice. Okay, fantastic. Thanks for sharing that. Uh, so, talking about uh, the roundtable you recently hosted, I'm wanting to know the discussion around data and AI. Uh, I, uh, you know, uh, what was it about? And uh, if there are any key takeaways that you can share with our audience. So we, we discussed a lot. Of, of course, everybody's talking about AI. Every company is working on AI True. projects. But as a consequence of that, I think data has, not, has never been so important. Exactly. The discussion about data, data governance, uh, data quality, quality, data observability, data lineage. So data architecture at the end of the day has never been so important because if you do not trust your data, you cannot trust your AI applications. So true. So the discussion that we had with some customers here was, was, was around it. It was like, what are the challenges those customers are facing and how they are coping with that. So yep. it's the data, in addition to having a lot of pressure from the business again to get the, the right data to, 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 to get to the AI apps, at, at the same time, the volume of data is growing. Yes. The data is everywhere. So the world is more and more hybrid and multi-cloud. So there's a lot of challenges. Yep. But I think we are ready to help our customers on that. That's fantastic. Uh, those are great insights that you're sharing in uh, talking about customers as well, right? Uh, I talk to a lot of enterprise leaders and uh, that's what I've been you know, hearing since the last three years, I guess, is about uh, first thing, we want to have AI implementation into the game. And then in the last one year, one and a half year, uh, we've been learning so much about the data observability being the very important piece, data quality playing a very important piece to make AI that success, right? Um, so how do you think uh, 2025 looks like uh, uh, in terms of uh, moving into a direction where obviously, data quality governance, observability play, will play a very important role, but how will it help AI to get to the next level? So I, I see a lot of opportunities ahead yeah. of us. Again, we are just in the beginning of the AI, AI era, we would nice. say, and data, as we said, it's critical for the implementation and for the success of those AI projects. So we are investing a lot with, for example, just to give you an example, we just launched uh, DataBand, which is a product for data observability, yes. running on AWS wow. Marketplace, so it's a way for customers to understand what's really happening mm. with their data pipelines. And not only understand and see, but to quickly identify any issues with that and take the right actions. Yeah. So that they would be certain that the data that it's feeding mm. their applications is the right data. It's but again, very important. they need to be able to identify it, any problems when they happen and not afterwards. It may be too late if they don't do that. So, so those kind of things on how do I monitor the data? How do I observe the data? Where's the data coming from? Mm. Those things are very important and I see a lot of growth in the adoption of those kind of solutions coming in 2025. Love it, love those insights. So uh, one more quick question since we are here at the AWS reInvent. Uh, what does the partnership look like uh, with AWS, uh, like the IBM and AWS partnership? We have a very strong partnership with right. AWS. Currently, we have more than 60 products running already wow. on AWS, and there is much more to come. That's huge. Um, one of the, we, we just launched our granite, granite models in right. AWS. Uh, we have a great partnership with WatsonX.data for governance. Mm -hmm. on AWS SageMaker, for example. Yep. So again, we really believe the world is hybrid, it's multi-cloud, and the more we can help our customers to natively run the applications where they want and what, where the data is, the better. That's why we are investing so much in that partnership with AWS. I love it. Uh, one more quick question, and I'm pretty sure our audience would love to learn more about that, is Marcela, where can they learn more about DataBand? Uh, where can they learn more about the data observability piece? Uh, how can the enterprise leaders 
understand and get more into the depth of uh, you know the data band sure. product as well. They, yeah. they could find information about it on AWS Marketplace portal. They yep. can find it in IBM's portal under yep. data, data fabric, data band, data observability. So there are several ways in which they could get into the information. They could test the product too, and of course we have our team of specialists and our ecosystem of partners that is there to support our customers in there. Fantastic, thanks for sharing that. Uh, one last question is about if folks want to reach out to you, learn more about you know the things that you're doing, they want to follow you, is LinkedIn a best place, Twitter a best yes, place? Yes, you can just write me in LinkedIn. I try to post as much as possible there whenever we have something interesting, especially in this AI and data world for our customers, so you can follow me and you can right to me there. That's Thank the you. Way. That's awesome. And I'm going to make sure I share all the links with our audience as well so they can uh, learn more about Data Band. I know I've closely known Data Band for years and uh, the great things that you all do. So fantastic work and thanks for visiting the Robert Show. Thanks for chatting and thanks for sharing all the great insights. Thank you so much for having me here again and I wish you all success in next year in your data and AI projects. Thank you. Thank really you so appreciate much. it. Thank you everyone.